the best part of what we do here and all the great things that we do is the end result. And so after, you know, two and a half decades, almost three decades, I get to see the end result. Our students being so successful and going out and doing, you know, amazing things. I was with a group of friends and we were talking about our degrees and our education. And um, I said I had a master's and someone said, well, you know, you can go teach college. You can like walk into JJC tomorrow and start teaching. And I kind of did. Funny story, when I was hired, uh, I can remember the individuals who were in the interview and they kind of asked me about teaching and all of that. And I'm like, I, you know, I have no idea. Um, but, but I do know the subject matter and I'm really motivated and I can do great things. And part of the reason they hired me was because we needed to develop a program. And so that's been, you know, now it's sustainability, but back then that's what I did. Nothing um, gets done unless it's we. And so the people, again, that I, that I work with in my, the people here at JJC and all the support, that is um, one of the, one of sort of the, the, I guess the power, you know, the engine that keeps moving all of this together so we can have those successes. The work that, that I was starting to get involved in out in the community, um, Joliet Junior College started to take notice and people started to talk about it to our administration here at JJC. You know, we were doing a lot of really good things and a lot of partners all across campus and couldn't have done it without the foundation. Um, and the Pepsi money, if anyone remembers that. After 15 years, I'm, I'm playing the long game. So, you know, we're, ge we're getting a lot done. And, and, um, and it wouldn't happen without, like I said, partnerships, but the support of JJC. Because I don't think there's anything like that on campus um, where we can all kind of come together and pot plants and paint and do the things. Um, that a lot of that's separated on campus. And so that's what I like about sustainability. And sustainability is everything. So if you have an idea, I bet we can find a way to like, you know, look at the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And um, that kind of drives some of the work we're doing and we can plug in anything. You know, and I told you I was doing kid camps now. You wanna know why? The last one I did was 2016. And one of those students is currently in the architecture program. And so I thought, oh my God, it worked. <laughs> you know, it and I noticed that it was just Susan alone at a table in a room with a bunch of men. Um, and especially the time it was, and I kind of uh, started to think like, it, it, you know, being the only woman in my graduate study program, uh, being the only woman at many of the firms that I worked at um, that was not administrative, you know, um, and not giving up, and, and her being even moved up to administrative level when it was a pinch and something had to happen and she stepped into the role graciously and then stepped aside graciously again. So I think it was, um, you know, that is, I, I would, I couldn't have imagined being um, somehow put into the same category. Nobody ever says, you know, whew, I did it, I finally won, you know, this is what, what I thought it was all about, this is my Olympic gold medal. But being recognized out in the community um, and being recognized among community colleges and, and now to be recognized by the, dare I say, the institution that created, um, created all this, that is, is just, I am going to cry. Um, that's, you know, I'm, I'm so delighted. Mm -hmm.